Hi, I'm me, Joshi, and you are with me and with Siddharth and Sangeet uh, on the MJ show. We talked about a whole bunch of things in part one, some fantastic stories. If you missed that, check out part one first. And now we're going to talk about their Bollywood uh, journey and a little bit more as well. So before we get into the Bollywood thing, like I said to them in part one, I've not forgotten. We got to get you to sing an Asma song. So tell me, what was your favorite Asma song? And before you actually start the song, uh, in case you guys have forgotten, which I don't think you have, but in case you have, the other three members in Asma were Jimmy, Neeti, Basuda. Jimmy, Neeti, and now and we've Basuda. added one more called Parshi Nirani. Okay. And we've also featured artists to perform with us in, you know, on in stage. the past. Yeah, I know. In case people, someone's busy in the band, Correct. Uh, we always used to get someone on board. Someone else. And Asma is still chance. playing every now and then. Yeah, very doing much. Very much. Like that. Yeah. Basuda has got a new album coming out very <coughs> soon. I'll have her on the show. I promised her that when she's got her album ready, we'll do that. I think Neeti is playing with uh, AR Rahman and yeah. singing concerts all They're across. all doing their thing. Yeah, they're well all doing their thing and Whenever an Asma gig comes up, I guess you We're guys always there. So, what's your favorite song that you had in Asma? Uh, I think Tumse Hi Pyar was this song uh, from the first album. Right. Which uh, really changed my outlook towards, you know, harmonies and hmm. uh, how harmonies were done. Hmm. Because uh, before that, I would do something, but I wouldn't realize I'm doing an, ha- uh, doing an harmony Correct. while uh, singing. And uh, I remember then Ashu... Ashutosh Patak, hmm. uh, Dhruv Ghanekar hmm. and Sanjay Devich had worked on the song uh, hmm. Tum Se Pyar and the harmonies were arranged by none other than Nandini Srikar. Oh. So I've known Nandini Srikar since 2003. Wow. And uh, I think that changed my outlook towards you know music that can be done in the Bollywood industry and in the pop industry. Correct. Post the first album, I think my, my trigger point for uh, composing was the song that I'd done for the second album uh-huh. it was called Pyari To Hai. Uh-huh. Uh, so the channel gave me all liberties to please go produce whatever you want and they they had given us a chance to do one song and mm. I took the initiative of composing it and it was out there. Lovely. But anyways, I think my all-time favorite would be Tum Se Pyar. Can I hear you sing a bit of it? Sure. Check please. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> तुमसे ही प्यार करना है तुमसे ही दिल लगाना है तुम्हारे प्यार का ये दिल दीवाना था दीवाना है तुमसे ही प्यार करना है लवली लवली स्टफ so, um, Asma and Band of Boys were obviously a big part <coughs> of your lives. You know? I mean, uh, sort of <coughs> changed um, the whole trend. Yes, yeah, the yes. whole trend. You know, I mean, not just for music for people, but for you guys as well. Of course. I mean, this was like a turning point in your life. I where, think it you know, was a kickstart to the youth career. Right. I, I I believe because what was happening before that was mostly there were singers who were fan- with fantastic songs, Adnan right. Sami, Lucky Ali, right. Silk Root, right. and stuff like that. So there was a serious note to musicians that Correct. was attached. Correct. So you know, they should just stand and sing and this and that. Yeah. So I think the pop culture got a little bit of a bounce the With moment it came uh, to performance. Diva, Band of Boys, <coughs> Asma came Correct. in. Correct. So the the youth started saying, "Oh, we don't have to actually wait to get that, you know, to old. get it, yeah, yeah. Not old, but look more matured and this Correct. and that. Look so look so serious. Correct. So music became a little more chilled out. Yeah. In the sense. Very Till good. the wedding function started happening all around the world and <laughs> film stars started performing with <laughs> and singing and dancing. And <laughs> <laughs> but that's another story. That's but another great story. Fun. But you know what, uh, it, it was pretty awesome to see that, uh, you know, pop the whole the boy band, boy girl band kind of a thing that came about in India and was done really well at that yes, point of yes. time. The three bands that did it and did it well, I think they, that was the only time that it happened and I don't think since then again. Yeah, I think post Asma... Uh, second album released. Yeah, I don't think, I think it was the downfall of pop. Correct, and I don't think there was anything replicated after that as well. Like right now, when we see sort of a resurgence in the independent music Absolutely. scene, absolutely. I think everyone's yeah. still going into that sort of serious space, doing it by themselves, kind of a thing. The yeah. whole boy band thing is kind of frowned upon right yeah. now. Yeah. Boy band, girl yeah. band, kind of a thing is. Frowned but there's upon. still a One Direction. The so <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about in India. In India. Yeah, in yeah, India, yeah. India, we are still yeah. like. But we're actually pretty much global now, considering <coughs> uh, you know. YouTube shows everything possible. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So our music is reaching uh, that is different true. continents. Correct. 
No, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it would be great to have another band. I got nothing against it. In fact, I think I genuinely believe that the, some of the most beautiful melodies, some of the most nice songs, came from the pop culture. Yes, came from the entire. Yes, I, you know, like starting all the way back from the Jackson Five, you yeah. know, which was technically like a boy band. You know, it was hmm. boys singing together. Till you know, even now, like okay. One Direction, maybe I've not heard enough of them, but you know a band like Boys Own, Westlife, all of these guys. Boys actually, to Men, yeah. Boys to Men. Oh my God, what a phenomenal! But band. the fun part is, as you're talking about the pop culture and the melody, the mm. strength of that is just shown in the times when we party, mm. we have chill out session, mm. guitar and people chilling. The songs that are played yeah. are still the songs like Pal, Correct. Yaro, Correct. You know, some Osanam. of my boy songs, Correct. Osanam. Correct. You know, Ya Tum Se Hi Pyar. Correct. These are songs that are still sung. Right. No, so no, absolutely. So absolutely. That's the power of the melody, actually. Correct. So we can probably and sing it a stays, beat. And it stays. It's yeah, got it's that, it's uh, totally you know, that sort of longevity because of the beautiful, simplistic melody, which, which when we heard, especially as teenagers and yeah. and kids, you know, just stayed in your mind. Like I, I know, uh, you know, a couple of uh, days ago, I, I had the opportunity of meeting the singer of Westlife. Uh, you know, Shane, who's just huh. released Shane, okay. Shane Filan, who's released his first solo album. Okay. So at the end of the of the interview, I said, you know, I can't let you go without singing a Westlife song. So he put me on the spot. He said, you tell me which is your favorite Westlife song so you can sing it with me. Now, I have the world's worst memory, okay? <laughs> but I said, okay, let's go to the very first song that you guys did, which was called Swear It Again. Huh. And it was like one of those songs which I had heard in my teenage years. Huh. So when he started singing and he like, okay, now your line, I actually remembered it. And for a person with a That's terrible me. memory Muscle also memory. to be actually able to remember, <laughs> it just shows how beautiful those songs were. Yeah, you know, these yes, songs. Yes. Like you said, Pal, O Sanam, everybody everywhere yeah, still yeah, knows all these songs. Purani Jeans and Purani Jeans. And, and those are songs which are like, people will say like, okay, but yeah. today they are so popular. Yeah. And actually, uh, today's day and, uh, day and age, yeah. it's a big recent uh, event. Hua, hmm. matlab, uh, Mithun making a song in Ashiki. Right. Okay, Tumi Ho. It's become a global phenomenon. Correct. And it's a very simple thing. Hmm. It's a very simple melody, hmm. beautifully composed. That's all it takes. Absolutely. You see, so people are trying their best to complicate, complicate stuff and stuff. do this and do that. Push it on the thing, okay, let's do this, that, let it go lungi dal, is me dal, woba. So <laughs> trying the best, of course. Yeah, there yeah. is marketing and money, power, of course. So you can yeah, you can, you success, can yeah. you can shove it into our ears. Correct. But the thing is it won't stay for long. Correct. What the stays long is to me What melodies. stays is teri, meri, meri, teri, Correct. Uh, prem kani. Correct. So these are the melodies that stay with you. Correct. And you can't change that about music. No, absolutely. And you know what, I guess in that space, uh, you guys uh, I, I wouldn't say it's lucky because you guys made it, but I guess uh, you guys are lucky that they made a song like, I mean, I know the song that you guys made in Murder too. Again, yeah, it's Azara. got that, exactly, it's got that beautiful melody. Azra has a superb uh, uh, the, story a behind it. a big story behind uh, getting into music direction. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We were just fooling around uh, in the studio. We had a studio in Andheri called Sanghi Studios. Mm. Uh, yeah, my dad was that biased, Actually, biased towards me with that name, but <laughs> nonetheless, we were working there. Correct. And, uh, Actually, it was that's plan that, you know, we both collaborate. And chal, ek do gaane bana dete, there's a com music company interested, they'll make a video for you. Correct. We said, okay, let's try, no problem. So we uh, tried composing something and the, on the very first day we did. And uh, we sub co composed something which got used uh, two years back in the movie called Blood, Blood Money. Money. Oh wow, okay. What, uh, what was the song called again? Arzu. Arzu, okay. Uh, but we had composed it in 2005. So I'll, we'll just sing the first line, so okay, we'll understand what we were doing. This yeah. is the first tune we ever composed together. Okay. Nice. <laughs> anyway, so this but, was the yeah. very first song that we composed in 2005. Okay. Uh, yeah, mm. and uh, we met Mukesh Ji, Mukesh Bhatt, mm. and uh, he we presented a few songs to him. He really liked them, but he couldn't fit us into the movies that were going on then. Right. 
But four years later, I bumped into him at a wedding, and he said, "Do you still have those songs you made me hear?" Yeah. Actually, that's not what <coughs> happened. I'll tell you the real thing that happened. Yeah. This song was ready. This no, no, no. You're forgetting the previous thing that happened. The first meeting with him. So we went to him with a kind of a dance club track. Okay. And this was the song already composed and kept in the studio oh, as right. an album thing. Correct. And that was a song we thought would go into a movie. So we took that CD and went to make him hear it. Okay. And a very See, it was not their genre of like you know they would not make movies with songs like this. Correct. It was a good song. It had a kind of a pick up, picky, uh, itemish kind of a thing. Right. So he made it play. He's like, boss, no, this is not happening. <laughs> Work harder and come back. Okay. And just I think about fifteen twenty days later, uh -huh. uh, Vishesh and Kunal Deshmukh, yeah. they they happened to come to the studio for some other work. Okay. And they heard us doing this, and they just said, can you make a Q track? Hmm. You want Mukesh ji to hear this. That's so yeah, but started. we couldn't work in 2005 <coughs> with them, and uh, simultaneously we had movie offers coming in. Right. Uh, it just fell into our lap somehow. Lovely. And there was this movie called Fruit and Nut, mm. which was the first film in 2007. Mm. Uh, really enjoyed doing that music because we managed to uh, tackle different genres. We got Baban Irani to sing yeah, uh, an out and out, you know, pretty cool Broadway sort of a song. Nice. It was called Khabardar. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, I mean, we had some really nice tunes in there, yeah. but the music didn't get promoted as much as we thought it would. Hmm. And the next movie got stuck. We did the music for it, but I mean, never released. Right. Then we bumped into uh, uh, Mr. Jotun Goel, uh, who was d directing an animation film in India mm -hmm. called Bird Idol. It was based on birds, obviously. Right. And uh, uh, so we spent uh, almost two years on that. Yeah. Today, actually, they they renamed the movie. It was called Bird Idol, and then. Just before the movie release, they call it Creation Six Zero Four. Okay. So, so if you see those birds on those creation, if you are in Bombay and you see the holdings, two chidiyas are there. Creation Two Zero Four 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 with a bird holding a guitar at the cap. And <laughs> remember that those are the this is the hero of the movie called Hummy and the heroine called Surili. Surili. It was actually an animation movie. Uh. It should have done superbly well, but then uh, yeah. timing. And it was uh, produced by Warner Brothers. So oh, wow, okay. a lot went behind that movie. Mm -hmm. So we. Spend almost two years. Maybe on it was that. just a wrong timing of release, and you know May vacations or June time. Correct. So the timing just happened. Also. And we were just suddenly thinking, music. you know, what is, is this? What it's supposed to be, or yeah. is there something else left to it? Yeah. And I bumped into Mukesh ji at a wedding, and he said, "You still have those songs you made me hear." Yeah. So I said, "Yeah." We met again. Uh, the songs we made him hear was not the ones he selected, mm -hmm. but in his office itself, he gave us a situation. He said, oh, "We need a seductive song, right. but uh, don't go according to the word seductive. Think parallel." Hmm. And I think in the office, in about half an hour or so, we had uh, Azara composed. And uh, I think the moment it was composed, you knew it would be. Yeah, it, it was taken to another level by yeah. the fantastic Sunidhi Chauhan. Yeah. Uh, we did a version to it. We did an absolute uh, rock-based version to it. Okay. But that's not what went with the movie's vibe. Now, and the song, uh, I think her voice and the way the song. She loved goes. it so much that she came back and redubbed it because. The day she dubbed it the first time, yeah. she had a bad voice and she said, I I'm not feeling too well, but let's just, you know, give it a try. Yeah. She came back after a week, she just sang it again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then we had a song which we had composed three years before Murder 2 was released. Tuchko uh, Bulana. Bulana. So I sang that and we had two songs in Murder 2. Superb. And uh, I got featured in Tuchko Bulana. So no Mohit film. took me to Goa, he shot me on the beach with, Having a rave you know, at a rave party and nice. it, was, it was pretty interesting. I love how they complete each other's sentences. You know each other so well. Just yeah. fantastic. I don't know if you're realizing it, it because it must be second nature to you now ah, when it really, happens. You don't, don't realize it. But you know, when you see it on screen, you'll realize he starts a sentence, he ends it, he starts a yeah, sentence, we're like a virtual it. delay. Uh, or a yeah, it's, it's pretty <laughs> awesome, man. But okay, one minute. Before we go into anything else, can I hear you sing a bit of uh, Azara? It would be nice if Sunidhi was around to sing this, but we'll still give it a try. Sunidhi, so if you if you are watching the video, see he's already put the request down. Now I'm making another request to you through the camera. Right now, we'd love to have you on the MDA show. But now, in Sangeet's voice. <laughs> बात थम जाए तेरी बाहों में ख्वाहिशे जगी है प्यासे प्यासे लबों पे खुद को जला दूँ तेरी आहों में आ 
गोश में आज मेरे समाजा जाने क्या होना है कल जरा करीब से जो पल मिले नसीब से आ जरा करीब से जो पल मिले नसीब से जीवे beautiful beautiful stuff okay we got to talk to boys a little bit more find out what they are doing currently and i am going to shoot off at least a few of my rapid fire uh, round questions to them in part 3 do not miss it uh, i'm going to find out what they are doing right now because they got a film which is being made uh, it's a marathi film to be precise and i'm going to tell you what the film's called when the music's going to be out and all of that in part 3 with sangeet and siddharth on the nj show